this on me like everybody said this would happen to this camera and like look how long like it should not take hello seriously like the moment has passed already like i can't i'm still not in focus like oh the bank is still open yeah. I need so, to get my rent money. It's the first that I'm uh, waiting in that line in Wells Fargo. So my rent just gonna have to be late. You know, if it's under the five days, I don't get charged late. Fee, so let's just push it as far as we can go. What I was saying so is little doggy and a big doggy. So I could get 10 face masks for $10. So individually $2. What's brightening for? Brightening is whitening. Oh no, no, no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> That. Not really work out, just like temporary. Oh just no! Like a little bit no, 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 no! I want, I want to be, enough. I want to be darker. <laughs> you want to be which one is like? But those are super cute ones. But that says it's whitening yeah, too. Like this is whitening. Oh. Panda is here. But does it make you whiter? Nah, no, no, it's just like little. Why bit. does that say white? White. Because they right? only like, if you go on the beach, you got a little tan skin, and then just like feels suiting your face. No, I don't want to be white. <laughs> Uh, do you care for you wrinkles? Get the do you want to try a blank mask then? See, look at the blank mask. That's racist. That's cool. <laughs> I definitely don't want to wear blackface. Why? I don't know. Like that's kind of racist. It's like a little. What is this? Is this a kiosk? Yeah. A little kiosk, and it's in the middle of Broadway. How much are they rent? <laughs> it's flowered. I'm about to ask. So apparently. I thought I was supporting a small business, but I'm actually just supporting Necessary Clothing, which has a huge store, if you can't tell. And it has one directly across the street. It's basically all that um, Instagram boutique clothes that you guys see on everyone in a store, so cool. left us oh my god that's so sad he had um alzheimer's but oh. but 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 here's his reason for never telling anyone he's like well every people still recognize me from the movie and i didn't want them to know i had something so they think uh sad thoughts i only want people to see happy thoughts when they see me so he kept it secret for years he'd been sick for a while but if he really had bad alzheimer's he probably wouldn't even remember that he did the movie he remember he remember he was not been that bad. He said because his his nephew was like, yeah, we were just out. Because how did he die from it then? Because when you die from Alzheimer's, that's like for that's like you've reached the reached a point of dementia where you like forgot how to breathe. But his nephew said that he never told anyone because he because he wanted people only think of 
Willy Wonka and happiness and and all that. I think stuff. that's just sensationalism because well, that's what his that nephew said. That doesn't add up to the Alzheimer's disease. We're headed to Union Square because I need to go to Lush because I need to pick up the exfoliator that I use because I mean obviously I need it. You know, you let it run out and your face just starts breaking out. I think it's a conspiracy. You stop using it. Ooh, the, that breaks. gap ad is not bad. Mostly because it's POC. Of course. People of color. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about race anymore because new YouTube rules. I just think it reminds me of the book. 1984 like you know how they weren't allowed to say certain things and they would like change things in the book like I feel like that type of censorship is making things and and that's what's so beautiful about the internet like that it's a, everybody can share their opinion and there's not so much censorship now they're just turning it into guys Oh, you can't really, you really can never like capture the sunset, it's crazy. But I'm in Union Square and the sunset looks so pretty, but I guess you guys can't see it so fucking. Jerez! Jerez! Look who I ran into! <laughs> you see that? In Union Square! This is lit! <laughs> so let's see how much they try to upset it. Do we have any oral pleasure in the back? What's the question? Have you actually seen it? I don't know. I don't know. I stopped using it. Look, now I have these lips on my face. Do you have oily skin? Yeah. That's perfect. I'm in the happiest place on earth. Look, what I use on my oily skin. Now, this shit right here. The only time that it's bad, like when a woman has weave, is when you're trying to run your fingers through it, right? And that shit gets stuck. Is that Try to rub your fingers through my hair. Yeah, but at least you don't feel like the cornrows underneath that did like the the uh, the wig the wig cap because <laughs> they sew it on to the wig cap and the braids. I know how this work. I, <laughs> Guys, I am so impressed by like all the books at the Barnes and Noble in Union Square that are by authors of color. Like I. Like this is even a few aisles back in the first aisle. There was like, it was lit over there. Let's go over there to get it. Like this is the front, like this is right when you walk in. Like, what? Are you serious? Like, for White trash, the 400 year of on tone history of class. I'm so impressed because I remember a time when to find books like by the people that I want to read mm -hmm. or about the people that I want to read, I would have to like go digging in and searching and for it to just be right there as soon as you walk in. I don't know, I just get so excited about books. I'm just a weirdo. We haven't even made it to the books. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, 